Hey guys, welcome back for a massive closet clean out. We're working in three different closets in my house today. Our coat closet, linen closet, and a storage closet where I keep like extra decor, throw pillows, things like that. They've gotten just a little out of control and unmanageable lately, especially here in the coat closet where shoes are overflowing. There's no space for them. We're constantly having a pile of shoes at our front door and it's just getting in the way and getting on my nerves. So I wanted to revamp the organization in here, make sure everything Thing is decluttered and do my best to keep this a functional space for me and my family. We live in a relatively small house with absolutely no storage so we really rely on this closet storage to help keep our daily routines going and our house functional and suiting our needs. So this really is a routine chore for me that I like to do every so often and we're just going to declutter and reorganize these spaces. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Catherine from the channel Catherine Elaine. We've been friends for a few years now. We met through social media and I have always been so impressed with her channel. She shares a ton of cleaning and homemaking videos like I do, but her real specialty is in small space organization hacks and ideas and storage solutions that you really can't find anywhere else on the internet. She's just so creative and innovative with the content that she shares and I know personally I have used some of her best tips and tricks in my own home and shared them in videos here on my channel over the last few years that I've known her. So she is just one of the good ones. She has superior content and I know you guys are going to love her. So make sure that you go watch her videos, subscribe if you aren't already, and leave her a comment letting her know that I sent you over. But getting back to my coat closet, our storage bins in here were looking nasty. They had some kind of residue left behind on them that kind of seemed like a scuff mark. So I'm going to use my Love Mag multi-surface cleaner to wipe these out with a microfiber cloth. It worked really well. I had to do minimal scrubbing and it was kind of an effortless clean, but I definitely wanted to make sure I wiped out the insides and outsides of all of these bins because while I have everything out and empty, what better time is there to make sure that it's sparkling clean as well. Every time I show these organization bins on camera, I get a ton of questions about where I got them. They are a pretty large size. They're plastic bins with these little flaps that you can fold over the top and that allows the next one to stack on top of each other. So they are stacking and I would say they're a large or extra large size. They're really nice. They've held up great. I haven't had a single one crack and I have them in almost every single closet in my house. In fact, I think you're going to see them in every single closet that I declutter and organize today, but they came from the Target Bullseye Playground last spring and they were only $5 a piece. There were so many shoes in our entryway, which just really is the catalyst for why I decided to reorganize in this closet today, but I pulled them all into one spot and then made three categories, one donations, one of shoes my kids needed to take back to their rooms, and then a pile of shoes that I was going to reorganize back into this container. And I settled on trying to keep two to three pair of shoes per person in our family. I tried to 
do a pair of sneakers and a pair of sandals for each of us and then also my kids had one extra pair of shoes that they wear pretty often and rotate through and they ended up fitting in there perfectly. I stood them all up so that they were easy to see, easy to grab and we'll see how long that actually lasts without anybody just throwing shoes in and piling them on top of each other but for now at least it looks pretty and it's been a few days since I filmed this video and surprisingly both of my kids are keeping up with it so it must be a system that works but anyway once I had gone through all those bins in the bottom I'm just going to be working my way up so I'm sorting through all of our outerwear right now I did find one coat that I could declutter and then all of our winter coats are going to go back to our bedrooms because we won't need them again until next winter hopefully we have spring weather that's being pretty consistent now so I just left two light jackets for each of us and that fit into this space much better Here is how our coat slash cleaning closet turned out. This is looking so much better. It's a night and day difference. I can actually see everything that's in here right now, which is just so beyond relieving. But anyway, just to share how we keep things organized in here, we have our upholstery cleaner and all of the attachments for our like carpet cleaner right there. Our Robo Rock that we love, but we're just waiting until our floors get replaced before we bring that out and remap the house and everything. These are all floor care items. So the mop heads and dust heads to our e-cloth deep clean mop and floor duster and wall duster are right there as well as like, this is my favorite carpet refresher our carpet cleaning solution, all of that is in this bin. And then over here, just our winter gloves and hats and things like that. I decided to hang Sawyer's umbrella. It just felt like it would work out better than having it poke out of that wire basket. So that's there. This is probably one of the biggest improvements. Our outerwear, like all of it, was in this closet. And now that we're hopefully finally into spring, we don't need our winter coats anymore. So I removed those. We'll keep them in our individual closets until next winter. And I just kept out one light jacket and one like fleece kind of jacket jacket for each of the girls and then two jackets for me two jackets for Derek these are all spring and current weather appropriate and they take up way less space obviously you saw the before shots everything was just all over the place before our jackets were constantly being knocked off the hangers getting in the way of getting to our cleaning supplies so this looks and feels so much better I was also able to 
kind of condense that down the shoes to one bin. We've got one pair of sneakers, one pair of sandals for each family member in here. And the candles, these were in two bins, got them down to one bin, which is such a huge improvement because if you've been here since the beginning of my channel, you know that at one point I literally had like 75 candles. I haven't bought any new ones in years trying to burn through them and we're finally down to our last bin of candles to get through. So that's a huge win in my book. And then we've got our carpet cleaner and our vacuum here. So this is looking really nice. I hope that we can actually keep it that way. I do have a small pile of trash and a small pile of things that were just out of place and need to be put back where they belong. And then this is what we are decluttering out of this space. Two candles, a bunch of shoes that no longer fit. We're going to call the women and children shelter for everything that's still in like wearable condition and see if they want those. A couple of cleaning products I haven't used in a long time and a winter coat so okay on to the next closet this is our linen closet it's located right next to our bathroom and because we have such limited storage available to us in our house we do have to use it for more than just linen so of course you do see bath towels and washcloths in here toilet paper but we also have a ton of overstock of personal care items and then a lot of cleaning supplies that i keep in this cabinet as well or this closet as well and and we just have to make that work for us. So it might seem like quite an eclectic mix of things, but this is making the best use out of our space in our home that's available to us. And it's functional for my family, so that's all that matters. But I'm just gonna take this in those bite-sized manageable pieces again. I started with the personal care shelf and I just pulled all of the organization bins out. And I'm going to start sorting through all of this, making sure to check expiration dates for anything that could be expired or most used up and needs to be thrown away and then also there were some things that had made their way in here that just didn't belong so I'm going to create a pile of things that need to be put back where they belong so that this system can continue to function for us in the way that we need it to I told you guys you were going to see these stacking organizational bins in every single closet that I was working on today and I was not kidding. They really have been some of my favorite organizational pieces and they've worked out really well for us. I used two stacked on top of each other in the space between the floor and the first shelf of the linen closet. I feel like narrow deep closet spaces often have a lot of vertical space in between the shelves and so having these stacking organ organizers helped me to take advantage of that and that not be wasted space and I like to keep cleaning supplies in here that we mostly need for the bathroom but don't actually fit into the bathroom because it is pretty small and the sink cabinet is really small and so these things won't fit in there but they fit perfectly into these organizers and I'm just going to straighten them up a bit make sure that we only have what we need in there and that it's a little bit of an easier system to keep up with so that we can just kind of grab and go with the things that we need.
top shelf is always such a struggle. I never really know what to put here, mostly because the shelf itself sits up very high, which makes the opening pretty small, and I have to like wrestle anything into it. You're going to see me really struggling in a second to get our humidifier in there. We really only use that during the winter time, so I'm just going to store it away in here until next winter, since there is enough vertical space to comfortably fit it, but just the opening is so small. We also have our beach blankets and picnic blankets and things like that, but if you have a closet with a shelf like this, I would love to know what do you put in there and how do you make use of it? I cannot tell you how relieving it is to have this all cleaned out and organized again. It causes me so much anxiety when things are cluttered and chaotic, and this was definitely chaotic. It was so needed to carve out some time to get this all straightened up, but I know that like just looking at it, it seems like there's not really a system, so I'm going to go through it all with you and show you what we keep in here. Down here, we have cleaning supplies, and we also have cleaning supplies in this closet over here, but all I keep in there is like floor care cleaning supplies because that's our coat closet, so that's what's in that one. This one has mostly like replacement scrubber heads and bathroom types of, of cleaning supplies. So disposable gloves, refills, disinfecting wipes, toilet bowl cleaner, things like that. And that's because it's right next to this bathroom. Our bathrooms are small and they have limited storage. So that's why I do this. Maybe one day we won't have to have cleaning supplies scattered about the house, but this is just what works for us right now. And then right here, I like to keep all of our toilet paper because it's really easy for both of the girls to reach, especially Sawyer when she was first potty training. And I just like to have it all here. So a whole shelf dedicated to toilet paper. And then here are all of our bath linens, washcloths, hand towels, and all of our body towels. I switched over to these white towels, I want to say almost two years ago, and I love them. They were so affordable. I think they came in a set of four, and we got two sets, but they were so affordable, and the quality is really nice. They still look and feel brand new. And I love that they're white because I just bleach them every single time that I wash them and it keeps them like in perfect condition. So if you're looking for some really good affordable towels, I'll leave these linked in the description box. Up here, we really get into what seems like it doesn't fit. But again, we have limited storage, so this is where we have to keep these things. This is all of our overstock personal care items. I moved all of our sunscreen into this bin right here because it is warming up outside and we go through this in the summertime so I wanted it easy to reach. And then all of this is the girls hand sanitizers that they attach to their school book bags and usually we have wallflower plug-in <laughs> refills down here but we're out so I think I need to take a trip to Bath and Body Works. Also in sorting through all of this, I was able to condense everything down so we have two empty bins in the back. I love having room to grow, it keeps things functional. And then up on this top shelf, this is all of our like beach and picnic blankets. And then I have this little caddy that we use for travel whenever we stay in an Airbnb and I just fill it with cleaning supplies, but I thought... I should pre-fill it with all of our basic disinfecting cleaning supplies and that way I can just grab and go. Now these items are not being decluttered. They were just out of place so I'm going to put them back where they belong. I already this is the third and final closet of today's video and you guys, I know, I know it's a mess. I can already see the comments flooding in. It's a lot of stuff. I'm going to declutter so much of it. I do just have to say in my defense, this is where I keep decor that I switch out in my own house but also decor that I find on clearance or really good sales that I hold on to for future room makeovers. I've been doing a lot of projects in other people's homes, especially over the last couple of years, and I try to make it as affordable for them as possible. So when I find a deal, I snag it, and then it ends up all in this closet if it doesn't get used. So we're gonna go through everything today. I'm gonna pull out a ton of stuff. I'm gonna have a huge donation pile, and it's going to be so satisfying. So just wait until the end before you start going off in the comments about how I have too much stuff and I need to get rid of it.
at this massive declutter pile. I am proud of myself for this one. I'm definitely parting with quite a few things that we just did not have a place for anymore. And instead of just piling it all in here, this is just proof that you can't out-organize too much stuff. So I went ahead, I'm decluttering the excess. A lot of these things I was just holding on to for future room makeovers, especially in other people's houses. I like to collect 
collect things. And then as I help transform spaces, I can pull from my stockpile of like sale items, clearance items, things like that. It saves my friends and family a lot of money, but it causes me a lot of stress having to store it all. And I don't have any plans for a room makeover for someone else for quite some time. So I just decided we're going to go ahead and donate all of these things. So that's what most of that is. These are the pieces that I like to switch out in our actual home decor like at my house. So I have these shelves. They're actually shoe racks that I ordered. It's been at least a year now and they help so much with keeping things organized in here. So I have these shelves and these baskets and these are all decorative candles, and then this is my favorite candle. It's banana nut bread, so I try to burn through this slowly, and I don't really burn these at all, so that's why they're separate from my other candles. These are more decorative pieces, but I put all of those on the top shelf. Down here is random odds and ends. This is like waiting for me to finish our kitchen, and then these are extra coasters, picture frames, little apothecary jars, random decor pieces small trays, larger vases, and decorative boxes. So that's everything that I organized onto these shelves. And then I use these stacking bins for all of my faux greenery. So these are larger plants, medium size, small little accent plants, and then those are just floral stems down there. These are all larger vases that don't fit anywhere else, but I love them. I switch them out whenever I just feel bored with my decor or I'm wanting a refresh, and I, I love them all. I didn't want to part with any, so I just have those over here. This is our year-round wreath for our front door. I still have our Christmas one up, so I need to switch that out really soon. And then up on the top is my decorative throw pillow <laughs> obsession. I know it seems like it's out of control, but it brings me joy, so <laughs> it's okay to have it here. But all of these are decorative pillows that are not currently in use, and then these are filled with throw pillow covers that I've donated the inserts, and I just wanted to keep the covers. This is a lumbar pillow and a throw blanket that didn't fit up there, and this is an insert that didn't fit up there. But Okay, so this is going to be everything for today's video, but I wanted to end it on a high note with some very satisfying satisfying before and after shots of each of the spaces that we worked on today or each of the closets that we decluttered and reorganized and just this friendly reminder that home organization is a constant work in progress. Systems require routine maintenance every so often. You will need to go into your organization systems and just clear out those spaces and make sure that they're staying functional for you and your family. So if you feel a little discouraged or like things aren't working out for you. Just know that everybody has to work at it constantly. It's the same as vacuuming your house, wiping down the counters, scrubbing the toilets. It's just something that has to be done periodically. But anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed today's video and that it motivated you. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to check my description box and check out Catherine's channel and her video today for some more decluttering and organizing motivation. Make sure you subscribe and leave her a comment letting her know that I sent you over. But thank you so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today and I'll see you in the next one.